everyone, how you doing today? I'm coming here to with you with a little bit different video. I'm going to be trying Bible journaling. Now, there's I've seen different ways of doing it out there, and I'm just going to keep watching some other videos on Bible journaling, find a little bit more out about it before I get stuck. So you may see, see my journaling change over time as I do it. But this is my Bible. This is my large print Bible that my husband went and got me because my eyes have been getting worse and it's been making it harder for me to read. This is a new King James Version. Now I have an ESV version, which is a study Bible, which I really, really like. That was my Bible I used all the time. But because of my eyes were getting worse, the writing was smaller. It was harder for me to read. So he went and got me this one. But then at Dollar Tree, I got some reading glasses, which make it me able to read my ESV version Bible again. So I kind of use both. So this one... I'll be reading, but I will be using strictly, I will only be doing Bible journaling in this Bible. This will be my Bible for Bible journaling. So, until I get this filled and I can't journal no more in this book, this will be my Bible for that. I've seen, though, I've seen, I'm not, right now I don't want to do like I've seen some people, some people have like on their, it's like my pages are filled there is no space on the sides. It's filled all the way across. I can't write on the sides. I've seen like where some Bibles like have like almost this much space on each side. I'm sorry, this much space on each side open with nothing is written where they can write in or journal in and however. But this Bible doesn't have that. And then I've seen some people, one I was watching today, where they actually were, so she was taking paints and just covering up the words because she was only journaling on a couple verses which you'll see in mine I'm only journaling from a, a couple verses but um but I don't want to mark out no words in the Bible I want everything to stay there so you'll see how I did mine now this is nothing spectacular nothing fancy I don't even know what's really journaling journaling because I didn't write a whole whole bunch but I wrote for me you know, maybe there might be times that I actually journal and I write a whole lot more. Like, if he keeps speaking to me about these two verses in James, I might add another journaling card where I write. And I write and I write and I write and I write more. But for now, I it was on James 4, verses 7 and 8, which is... Therefore, submit to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Well, I wanted to to journal on those two verses and just really write out the points, the steps that I need to take when it comes to um, to to getting free of things in my life that I want to be set free from. Things that I struggles I deal with. So well, this is uh, this is my church puts out a prayer letter every week they give us um, what needs prayer and what to pray for so we can have it at home to pray so that I keep that in here. This is my journaling card I made. It's nothing fancy. Like I said, I didn't do a whole bunch of writing. I used um, cardstock, just two different colors and um, used my adhesive runner to hook them together. Now you see, I can still see the words underneath. I just used a piece of washi on the side here to hold the card in. And I just put this sticker up here, remember, and I used the, you know, the dove that represents the Holy Spirit, put James 4, 7, and 8. Just broke it down into steps. First one is, first thing I need to do in any situation, any struggle I have, is I need to submit to God. I need to submit that, that struggle, that situation, I need to submit it to God. Because I'm not going to break free from nothing until I submit it. I can't go to the next step. To resist the devil, he will flee until I submit to God. So I want to put that first. The second one is to resist the devil and he will flee. I don't need to speak to the devil. I don't need to say a word to the devil. All I need to do is resist the devil. Resist all the um, pulling he puts on me. All the, you know, his him trying to speak into my mind and trying to get me to do things I know I shouldn't do. Or struggles I'm trying to be set free from. That I need to just resist that in my mind. You know, I don't need to speak to him. I don't need to say a word to the devil. Just resist him, it says. It doesn't say speak to the devil. It doesn't say yell at the devil. It just says resist the devil. So I need to resist the devil and he will flee. But after he flees, 
it leaves a space now that he was occupying in my mind with thoughts and things. So now I need to fill them with something. The only thing I should fill them with is the word of God. So that brings us to step three, draw near to God and he will draw near to me. So I need to remember that. So I need to first submit to God, submit that area of my life to God. I need to resist the devil in that area. And then I need to draw near to God and he will draw near to me. So I wrote this down just as a reminder. And it's this bottom here, plus sticker says strength in God with two hearts. Because I've got in my heart. So that's what I put. Now, I know it's nothing fancy like you might see on some other <laughs> videos on Bible journaling. This is the first start. It's my very first, very, very first time doing any kind of Bible journaling. Like I said, it may grow and change as I go on with it, as I see other ways of doing it that I might try and see that I might like that more. But for now, this is what I put. This is a way to help me to remember those two verses, to help me to remember how to apply them to my life. That's what I should put, how to apply them to my life. Not how to remember them, like memorize them, but a way to help teach me on how to apply them to my life as a reminder. So that was it with my Bible journaling. That's all I got so far. Um, I um, I hope to learn in this area so I can grow in this area because I really, really want this to be a bigger part of my, my area of my life. So I, I hope you all have a very blessed night and have a blessed week that we're in now. And I will talk to you all again real soon. Bye-bye.